And again, this is taking AI to another level. This is what that transfer paper looks like. And um, I'm going to give a little workshop to show how this is done. But again, taking it to another level. Because again, we don't want to just be stuck on, I'm just using this to make pretty pictures. I want to use this to do other things. So here's another graphic that I then, from sublimation paper to a print. So that's just at home. So imagine, you know, there's service companies that do that. Um, Spoon Flower is one of them. There's several. That's my next step is I'm going to write to some of these companies and get the swatches and start um, actually designing my own fabrics. That's really where I want to go with this. But that's what I wanted to kind of show. Those are just a few examples very quickly because I know we've been on here forever. Um, but yeah, the leather kind of starts out like this. And like I said, I have transfer sheets that I print onto leather. I've even gone as far as like um, one of my examples I'll show when, because I plan on giving a workshop on how to do this. So this is an actual piece of fabric. Actually, I think it's the same fabric. I'm going to take my hat off because my hair is not done. I think it, no, this is a different fabric I used under here. Because when I make my hats, it's a potpourri of things, right? So I even, in some cases, took this fabric, scanned the fabric because I wanted a graphic to look similar and then put it in my GPT and made companion fabrics that look just like are very similar. So the whole idea behind the aspect is to be able to create random graphics that could be used for other things. So I took Linda's class the other day, you know, on blending. And of course, in your mind, you think I can just blend. Yes, you can. But her blend, not that, 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 that GPT is so rich in what it's able to do. When we merged those two technologies together, all the things that we were able to create was amazing. Then Sabrina got in on it and she merged some things with her GPT, my GPT, and Linda's GPT. And the graphics that it created was amazing. So that's the other thing as far as collaboration. A lot of what we do, we can show people how to use them together. So we're all on here kind of uh, marketing to ourselves, right? Because we're all somewhat creative, but my next realm is I want to reach um, other graphic artists. I want to reach, obviously, I showed how I use my Glowforge, even the other laser cutters, how you can um, use those designs in that. Um, people that do the stationery, on and on and on. So you also have to think outside the box, almost like what Dan, was Danny that said that? Like, reach out to other entities. Like, he was talking about coffee shops. And, I mean, these could be wallpapers. Uh, postery fabrics, on and on and on. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show. I kind of did it real quick because I'm, like I said, I'm here getting ready to go to bed. But I just wanted to kind of give an idea of what my mindset was when I created the GPT.